Greetings, this is Robin's Book Club, episode number 46, The Portfolios of Ansel Adams. Now, you could say, wasn't it Ansel Adams' birthday the other day? Robin, you could have done it for his birthday. Well, I don't remember him doing much for mine, so here we are. Now, I have the paperback version of this book, which was reprinted in 2006. You will find some original printings and some reprintings from the 1980s. You can find it online, and I have included a uh, an affiliate link in the description. So if you want to go and check out this book, and thank you to those of you who are using the affiliate links. It's, uh, it's quite a remarkable thing. Anyway, what to say about Ansel Adams? Well, we'll come on to a couple of my favourites at the end, and in fact just some thoughts that I've got about his work in general that will be at the end of the video but I would like to read just a few little sections from the introduction so there's separate introductions to each portfolio and John Sarkowski wrote an introduction to the whole book in his introduction he uh, writes some very interesting things uh, one of which was this Adams would object to being described as a landscape photographer like all good artists, he distrusts categories, and it is true that he has made many splendid photographs of other sorts of subjects. Nevertheless, it is our prerogative to define the reasons for our own gratitude, and I think we are primarily thankful to Adams because the best of his pictures stir our memory of what it was like to be alone in an untouched world. He goes on, Serious photographers believe that photography is something larger and more inclusive than the sum of all photographs made thus far, larger even than all those that will be made in the future and that the chief adventure of the medium lies not in using what is known, but in learning more. And naturally, I was drawn especially to Portfolio 3, Yosemite Valley, published in 1960, and Ansel himself writes in the introduction to this, Yosemite Valley, to me, is always a sunrise, a glitter of green and golden wonder in a vast edifice of stone and space. I know of no sculpture, painting or music that exceeds the compelling spiritual command of the soaring shape of granite cliff and dome, of patina of light on rock and forest, and of the thunder and whispering of the falling, flowing waters. At first the colossal aspect may dominate, then we perceive and respond to the delicate and persuasive complex of nature.
Well, as we come to the end of this edition of Robin's Book Club, I just thought we'd focus on two different sort of favourite photographs of mine from this remarkable book. Uh, this could only be taken in, in that one place, couldn't it? It needs to be made in a specific place, so it's very hard for those of us who don't live there to imagine taking a photograph like this. Okay, it's technically excellent and all the rest of it, but it relies very much on its sense of geography, on, on, on being there in that moment. Well, okay, that's something to aspire to, even if we don't have the uh, the ability to be in that place. But take this photo, for example. Any of us could take a photograph like this. Whether any of us could take a photograph like this so well as this, well, that's a matter for debate. But, you know, there is no geographic impediment to taking photography like this. And we too often, as I think you might have seen throughout this portfolio, we too often do categorise Ansel as just a landscape photographer, albeit, you know, perhaps the finest ever, when in fact there's so much more to his photography, and actually I think that helps us. We don't have to pigeonhole or categorise ourselves. If we want to take photographs of varying subject matter, then we can do it. We have that right. Photography, after all, is not so prescriptive in how we should approach it. So I hope you've enjoyed the portfolios of Ansel Adams. Uh, if you like it, as I say, there is an affiliate link in the description below and we'll see you next time for something a little bit different.